Welcome survivors, I'm GP bringing you the latest ARK news. And today we're talking about the launch of ARK Survival Ascended being fully cross-platform, which may be good news for some. There's certainly mixed feelings around that and how it potentially ties into improved server transfers, which should be good news for everyone. There's a lot of uncertainty going around right now as to what exactly is coming to Survival Ascended at launch. Particularly with the roadmap updates, it can get pretty confusing. Of course, we know that we are getting the island and presumably the survival of the fittest as not much has been said about that recently. But Jat from Studio Wildcard did provide this list of confirmed points regarding ASA's launch. However, in terms of the long list of game features, there's not yet been any clarification as to what will be available and what won't. Recently, over on the ARC Discord, Jat stated that part of the reasoning behind the transfer change, i.e. there being no transfers at launch, isn't solely because a second map won't be available until December, i.e. Scorched Earth. But we want to spend some more time on the tech related to transfers as we're making significant networking changes to have the game full crossplay. So it sounds like these network changes potentially have some impact on transfers that need to be worked on before that can be introduced and quite possibly this could mean improved server transfers. Imagine playing ARK where you don't have to worry about any losses every time you transfer your survivor. Now there was a bit of misunderstanding out there with what Jack said as some people took it to mean that crossplay also wouldn't be available at launch. However, Jack has clarified their position on this by saying, I want to clarify that we do intend to fully support cross-platform at launch too, including cross-platform mod support. There are a lot of factors in getting this done, requires a lot of collaboration between ourselves, Grow Street Games, Overwolf and the platforms. So this certainly puts cross-play back on the table to be available at launch. Of course, there's still plenty of time for that to change for any number of reasons over the next couple of months. Now there are mixed opinions of crossplay out there, some want it, some don't want it, and for pretty good reasons, such as keyboard and mouse against controller, and of course various issues such as aimbotting and such alike. But I don't think it's been made quite clear yet how Wildcard are doing this on official servers, whether all servers will be crossplay or only some of them. When they say fully cross-platform, this could mean in terms of all platforms playing together, which will be the case anyway, or they could be referring to their entire official server network being cross-platform. So that has yet to be clarified exactly how it's going to work. But wildcard spending more time working on the tech behind server transfers could honestly be what Survival Ascended needs because every week, every day, there are official players losing their survivors on transfer. And this has been going on ever since server transfers were introduced in Survival Evolved. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not a complete optimist. I'm sure there will still be some instances of character losses occurring in Survival Ascended, but if they can manage to get it stable, to get transfers to a point where issues like that are a very rare occurrence, then that could be a pretty huge thing for the future of the remastered game. Now, I still honestly struggle to see how crossplay itself is going to work with Ark. I thought this before and I'm even unsure now that it's an early access title. And this is because with crossplay games, you need to have updates released simultaneously, especially in a PVP based game. But now with it being early access, that means there will be regular updates, regular patches and bug fixes. And if anyone has played on Xbox and Windows 10 servers, I think many of you will have experienced times where one platform, usually Windows 10, is behind on patches, especially when it comes to major version changes, which is what will break access to servers. And this is one thing I'm just not sold on yet with Wildcard, I'm gonna have to wait and see it for myself. Although I do believe they have improved on delivering simultaneous patches more recently, 
but doing that on an actual fully crossplay game is a different ball game altogether. Something that is likely to impact the base game more than it would survival of the fittest. That's all the latest news for today's survivors. If you don't want to miss out on the latest dark news, make sure to subscribe.